of Communication Technology Lab. And in this lab, we are providing eight different courses in the current uh, year. So here we have basic analog electronics, digital electronics, antenna and wave propagation, and then modulation techniques and coding, microwave links, satellite trainer, and then we have a radar trainer, and we have um, optical fiber communication. In this kit, you can demonstrate about transmitting an audio channel and as well as transmitting the video channel. The two kits which here will act as the earth station and one kit which consists of a transponder and as well as receiver, it will act as a satellite which is present on the space. So let us see a few things about what is there in the radar trainer kit. In radar trainer kit, we have a radar transmitter and then a receiver. So the transmitter will transmit the radar signals and whichever is the unknown object coming in front of the radar train, radar signal, so it gets reflected by that and it receives the reflected signal and according to the reflected signal, it calculates the distance, range and then velocity of the object. This kit is a CDMA kit that is code division multiple axis. So in this kit, we can do DSSs and as well as FHSs. Welcome to Green Technology Lab at Apex High Tech Institute, Bangalore. This lab was established in 2014 and since the last two years we are conducting various training programs on solar PV electrical system, solar thermal systems and other areas of renewable energy harnessing. We have a very good number of trainer kits in our lab all indigenously made to study right from the characteristics of a photovoltaic cell, grouping of the PV cells, inverters, different type of inverters, solar panels and other accessories, etc. We also have supporting trainer kits for other renewable areas of fuel cell, small hydro and bioenergy models. We have in the area of wind energy systems one turbine in the mounted in the rooftop. Myself Raju Kanna, Assistant Director. Uh, here in Apex, I am dealing with Embedded System Lab. Uh, so now coming to the, before going to the uh, Embedded System Lab in detail, what, uh, what is the role of this Embedded System in the uh, real-time environment? So like nowadays in all applications, all applications are coming with the automation. Uh, so automation means uh, there is a intelligence which which, which replaces the manual system. So that intelligence, we can develop it with the embedded systems. Now this is our embedded uh, system software section. Uh, so here we can develop the intelligence by writing the programs in a, a different uh, types of languages. So.
welcome to Mechatronics Lab. Mechatronics is a synergistic combination of electrical, electronics, mechanical, control systems and computer engineering. So here we are conducting different courses for the ITI, Diploma, BE students especially. So uh, different courses we are running like PLCs, uh, pneumatics, hydraulics, uh, embedded systems which comes under Mechatronics. Hello, I am Rajeshwari, Assistant Director, Taking Care of the Precision Measurement Lab. Welcome to Pre Precision Measurement Lab. In this lab, actually, we are imparting the skill training program for dimensional metrology, where we are teaching the trainees how to measure uh, different uh, dimension of different components like linear and angular measurements and surface roughness and roundness measurement. And uh, still now we have seen the probe method of measurement and we are giving a non-contact type of measurement also like we have a video measuring instrument uh, of 2D dimension where we can uh, give uh, smallest component can be measured for its uh, distance between the two lines or circle diameter and the gears, angle etc. Where we are manufacturing industry, for example, automotive, aerospace industry, process industry, from medium scale to large scale, these industries need the training of workforce. So there is a huge demand from the industry to train the persons in major areas like CNC programming operation and CNC maintenance. In this lab, we have categorized two areas, mainly CNC programming operation and the next area is CNC maintenance. The CNC maintenance, we are conducting four different level of courses. Level one, which is CNC machinery fundamentals. For those who are really in need of basic knowledge about the CNC, the second level is the programming and simulation. Those who have completed this level one, that is CNC basic fundamentals. And those who are already have the knowledge of CNC, they can come for this program. After the completion of two levels, that is fundamentals and programming and simulation, the third level is setting and operations. So under setting and operations, we have four different machines. CNC lathe with Siemens control, CNC milling with Fanuc control, CNC turnbill center with Fanuc control, and CNC milling with Siemens controls. So each machine will have one week of course as a third level. So those who are completed, two levels, they can come and join this course. The final fourth level is the CNC maintenance. Under CNC maintenance, we are conducting...